So we have a question uh, from Nicoletta. You mentioned fear of feedback. Did you manage to deal with this and how? Collaboration is such a great part of coding, but a lot of people miss out on it because of fear of feedback. Muted. No, you are muted. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I feel the same. I, I think I've always done quite badly. I think um, in handling feedback, even I, I think this was the first time I watched myself back on video um, because I just in general um, have always been very bad with uh, handling feedback. And um, this includes then, of course, feedback on my own code. Um, and yeah, how, how do I manage to deal with this? Um, I've just now, I don't know, I, I think it's just like, being like standing there and saying it's it's been enough. I've um, let myself uh, lose enough opportunities to to learn and grow by just not wanting to get uh, just um, ask for feedback. Um, yeah, and I guess uh, this is this is basically just on the one hand publicly saying I, I now want to receive feedback, and um, also I will just I guess actively by by just having stuff that I can show to other people, make sure that I actually then go and and show it to other people, and also by having this challenge of of wanting to build the apps. I think uh, apps um, this will basically also I think drive me because um, there is bound to be blockers when 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 building things, and uh, they are I guess then a good motivation then to just reach out to other people who I know are are good at certain topics and um, just show them my code. Is that your GitHub handle? Th that's my GitHub handle, indeed. Yeah, that's yeah please feel free to check it out. And <laughs> yeah. OK. Um, good. There's more. So there was the GitHub handle. There was one question, and then fantastic. And um, when we are doing PyLadies meetup workshops, you don't didn't seem to be afraid of feedback, but so maybe the stakes are too high sometimes when it's at work. Huh, that's a good question. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess Pi Ladies meetups. I, I think I, I'm, I'm just, yeah, looking for these kinds of um, situations. And that's why I like Pi Ladies so much, where I just somehow, some part of my brain, there's just a switch that doesn't then somehow, the, the, the feedback, oh, attention, this is feedback now. Um, alarm just doesn't get triggered anymore. And that's why I like PyLadies so much because the first, like, originally when I thought I'd join PyLadies, I just thought I want to be hacking with other, like, like uh, cool, cool people. Um, and then, yeah, then I learned that it's also a lot about mentorship and um, helping each other grow. And um, yeah, that, so that's, that's a really great thing about PyLadies. And Avar is asking if you make your personal projects private. Well, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That's that's, I guess that's that's the plan. Yeah, that that it's all uh, public, and uh, which which somehow raises the bar in terms of I don't want to be like showing code that is very insecure or very imperformant. But um, yeah, I guess just also um, still publishing more code so that I can at all. Um, get feedback for it. Okay. Cool. So we've changed the schedule by m swapping the last two items. And now we have the last talk. And then we have a panel with discussion. And um, thank you, Geza. I mean, she's not going away. She's going to be here.